Thank you. Mark, you want to you wanna set up the demo for us today? Yeah, sure. Um, you talked about multi-cloud. So this is really a perfect multi-cloud demo. Um, it's about an insurance uh, scenario. Um, so uh, we are talking about claims management, policy management. And for that, we integrated OpenText Content Cloud, uh, formerly known as Extended ECM, into Guidewire to manage this. We now support Guidewire with Titanium X, so it's an, another that, big partner in our ecosystem. Yeah, that is one of the main Titanium X deliverables, um, and that is ready for Titanium X. And at the same time, we also integrate in SAP to uh, manage purchase orders and vendors. And as this damage claim is about hurricanes, uh, we went ahead and also loaded the full data set for hurricanes in North America from the Pacific and Atlantic Basin into the system. So it's a lot of data, uh, thousands of documents and workspaces. So we're going to show multi-cloud work. Yeah. Last year we showed um, FAA data. This has become pretty routinized for us to be able to take big data sets and just load them into our platform, right? Um, share data, uh, write an app, solve a problem. But we took all the NOAA hurricane data uh, over the last couple of weeks and just loaded them into our platform. Um, 40,000 documents, um, 1,800 storms. And um, Mark, take it away. Yeah, um, thank you, Mark. Um, so the data that we loaded is from the National Hurricane Center. So let's go into the data sources first that you have an idea. Uh, most of you know that. Um, so we loaded basically the full archive of all storms since 1995 into the system. Um, so here you see just an example. Um, these storm reports are very comprehensive, um, big documents with lots of data points, and the data sets also includes um, data about the tracks of the storms. And, uh, uh, so weather about, we data took about 40,000 of these documents yeah. in, All turned them into metadata, yeah. vectorized them. Yeah, and we yeah. loaded that into Open Text Content Management. We are working here as a claims adjuster um, with, the, with the landing page, and we see the natural disasters, which are the storms, are all in the system. So we have over 1,000 storms here in this view, and we can quickly filter these uh, storms just with two clicks. I say Eastern Pacific and Category 5 storms, which is Hurricane, and we get exactly one hit. So if you understand the data, you can filter that way, or you use your natural language. So let's take away um, some of the filters that we have a, a bigger working set again, and I can call Aviator here on all these um, storm workspaces and just ask a question. Which storm had the maximum sustained wind speed over 130 knots? So a simple but specific question. And as this is a specific question, I get a specific answer. It is Christy, and I get additional information on what the storm is about and how, um, what the wind speed were, and I also get the references where that information is coming from. That is always important for Aviator that we always show where that information is coming from. It's so automation and AI integrated, yeah. and you're just having yeah. a conversation with the data. Yeah. Let's try one more thing, maybe go a bit more extreme, and we remove all filters that we look at the full data set and ask another question. Uh, which yeah. storms had landfall in the Florida Big Bend in 2023? So again, a specific question, and I get a very specific answer. And this time, I get an answer not just in text form, but I also get the image from the National Hurricane Center that I can exactly see what the track of the storm was. So Aviator is, is multimodal. It, it, it has text that says images and videos. OK, and now let's switch gears and go over to Claim Center. So we work as Alice Applegate in the Guidewire Claim Center. So she's working on a damage claim for um, company Armstrong and Company, and we see all the data about that claim in Guidewire. So the lost location, which is in Georgia, in a city called Matter, and I see which parties are involved, the Armstrong and Company, and John Smith is obviously the person that, that has. So we're about to make this knowledge worker yeah. more empowered, um, yeah. more productive. Yeah, but they have the data, and we bring in now the content. Yep. So what we did is we integrated Open Text Content Management, um, many of you know that as extended ECM, into a new tab, which is called Claim Workspace, and I see all the content for that um, claim here. So maybe the, the customer has submitted some images about the damage, and we see um, it's about a drugstore from Armstrong and Company, and it really looks uh, awful um, what the damage is. So obviously there is some justification that this is really a claim um, that is real. Okay, now let's zoom out and um, look at the claims form. So this is a 
basically the report that was submitted. Instead of reading the document, I can always use Aviator here and just say summarize this document. So instead of reading a long document, I get the most important information. It was a drugstore in matter and uh, what kind of damage was uh, caused by the storm. So I get that as one or two sentence simple answer. Let's zoom out, go into open text content management again, and we look at the exact same claim now in in the open text interface. The good thing is, as we are connected to Guidewire, we have all the Guidewire information also in, um, in the content management system. Zero copy. Yeah, it is an intelligent copy because it's always up to date, to the second. Mark always cracks me. Yeah. It's a zero intelligent copy. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> sorry. You. It's, yep. um, it's good. Yeah, and the important thing is when you look here at this, at this screen, you, you are not just uh, seeing the claim. You see the policy that is related to the claim. You see the storm, and you will also see the purchase order once um, that is created for a repair service. So we have a full 360-degree view here. So now let's do some investigation, and let's start with Alice Applegate. She wants to first find out what actually happened. So a very simple question. Um, and she gets a nice summary, the date when the hurricane hit uh, Chandler County, causing significant rainfall and storm winds. So that is what the, um, what the customer is, is, uh, is claiming, um, so that there was um, a damage caused by the hurricane. So the first thing, and now we have this, um, this uh, filtering capability here, so we can say we want additional data source being um, considered, which is this, uh, the natural disaster. So the first question was, did the storm hit matter? So the account, um, the, the, the claims adjuster wants to understand, is that really justified? Did the storm really hit um, that location? And we get the nice uh, image from, um, from the uh, National Hurricane Center, and we get a very precise answer. Yes, the storm did hit, hit matter at 2 p.m., um, so a very precise answer, and that gives Alice Applegate kind of an idea that the claim is probably justified because the, the hurricane really... One of the biggest that. parts of yeah. claims process management is verifying the event. Exactly. And second thing, she can also look into the policies. Just with an, another checkbox, she can include the policy information into Aviator and ask the question, um, does the insurance policy cover damage from hurricanes? Just to to verify that the policy is actually justifying that. And in this case, she gets an answer. Yes, the insurance policy covers damage from hurricanes. And at the same time, they get the document. And even better, the document is automatically selecting the, the text passage, the, um, the, the paragraph where that uh, information is in. So I can immediately um, validate that. And that, that was super easy. Yeah. Um, one more question before we move on here. So is flooding covered by the policy as well? So there's a second question. Um, here, Content Aviator comes back. The policy specifically excludes flood-related damage because there's another insurance for that in the U.S., which is FEMA, National Flood Insurance Program. So that is not covered, and maybe that is an information she can um, uh, uh, pass on to the, uh, to the client. Okay, so obviously there is a big damage and uh, something needs to be done about it. Um, so Alice Applegate is now uh, looking at the SAP vendors, which we also loaded into Open Text Content Management, so we get a list of the vendors, and she has pre-filtered that by the vendors in the US. But she wants to have more specific information who can do the roof repair um, for this supermarket. Uh, that press was a button straight into an agent. So. Yeah, so press a button, and we have the agent, and um, she asks a very specific question. Are there any vendors that can do roof repair in Georgia? And she gets an exact answer that Zebra Supplies LLC can do that repair. And that alone would not be possible just to find out of, of the data. You have to look at the documents. Yeah. OK, um, just to finish things up, now in SAP, we created a purchase order to order that um, roof repair from Zebra Supply. And once that is done, automatically the 360-degree view for Alice Applegate was completed. And now we can even ask questions on the purchase order, which is coming from SAP. And she asks, um, what is the delivery date for the purchase order? And she gets the clear answer. It's uh, November 1st. She gets the document, which is an SAP document coming from SAP. And even better, exactly the term where that statement is on the delivery date is uh, marked in the document. Mark, this is fantastic. Any summary from you? Yeah, maybe three things. Uh, Guidewire integration, for those of you that are interested in that, that is part of Titanium X. That's number one. Um, you have seen we can connect to multiple clouds, Guidewire, SAP, Hurricane Data, whatever you have, and we can apply Aviator across the board, 
um, being your intelligent assistant for all these different data sources and applications. Titanium X is ready. Mark, thank you very much. Thank you.